Good evening, Josh Bavis with ABC News. The Prime Minister Scott Morrison has denied his colleagues are abandoning a sinking ship after two more ministers announced they're quitting politics. Human Services Minister Michael Keenan and Indigenous Affairs Minister Nigel Scullion both declared they'd resign just one week after the Minister for Women, Kelly O'Dwyer, quit. The opposition has seized on the developments, saying the government is limping towards the election line. Political reporter Stephanie Dalzell has more. The fanfare of the Australia Day ceremony in Canberra couldn't drown out the Prime Minister's troubles as more of his ministers marched away. We've had members retiring and, uh, and not standing at the next election from both sides of politics and it means nothing more than that. In Darwin, Indigenous Affairs Minister Nigel Scullion was calling time on his 17-year political career. If I was guaranteed to be the Prime Minister after the next election, I'd still be retiring. The Northern Territory Senator insists the move is personal as he abandons the chase for votes for a different hunting game. If I was a wild pig, a duck or a mud crab, I'd start getting nervous. Morning, how are we? Just hours earlier, Human Services Minister Michael Keenan announced he won't be recontesting his Perth seat after resting it from Labor 15 years ago. The father of four is stepping away to spend more time with his family. I'm just not prepared to continue to be an absent dad. Michael Keenan backed Peter Dutton in last year's leadership spill before being demoted from Cabinet. But he denies that's the reason he's going. It's really not unusual. I mean, people hyperventilate about everything in politics. I've learned that over 15 years. The pair joined the Industrial Relations Minister, Kelly O'Dwyer, who announced her resignation just a week ago. All three will stay on until the election. This just shows, though, a government that's barely limping to the end of its term. We are seeing now ministers, backbenchers, express no confidence in Scott Morrison's ability to win government for the coalition and their jumping ship. Losing three ministers in one week is no doubt a blow to the government and the Prime Minister says he can't rule out any more resignations. But Scott Morrison denies this will hurt the coalition's chances of re-election, instead suggesting it's a chance to freshen up his lineup. Stephanie Dalzell, ABC News, Canberra.